Anton here from Sunbros, and today we are bringing you guys the top five assassins in all of Arena of Valor. Before I go ahead and go into the top five best assassins in Arena of Valor, I want to mention to you guys that if you guys enjoy Sunbros content, please make sure you guys give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and of course, check out our other content. We are working really hard on the How to Play series, as well as the top five series. So check those out, and you won't be disappointed. Okay, so before we start with number five, I want to mention something real quick. Right now in NA, we have seven total assassins. That means two didn't make the list and I want to make sure I give them a shout out at the beginning of this video and explain to you why they didn't make the list as an honorable mention before we go ahead and head into the top five. Now before I post the starting lineup I want to assure those of you whose names are not on the list that I'm very disappointed in you. Something was lacking. Let's call it heart. So the first one that didn't make the list is Butterfly, and the reason Butterfly didn't make the top 5 is because she's generally and more effectively played as an off tank or a warrior type of a build. And the reason that she falls flat for me as an assassin type when she's built full damage is because she's one of the easiest assassins in the game to counter. Because what full damage Butterflies will do is they'll jump the backline with their ultimate, which is the correct move, but she's so squishy, all you gotta do is crowd control her the moment she jumps in and kill her before she can kill her first person, and because of Butterfly lack of mobility besides her ultimate there's not a whole lot that she can do about it so due to her reliance on her ultimate and it being reset as a part of her kit as an assassin all a team has to do is focus on her crowd controller and kill her before she gets a kill or an assist and then she becomes neutralized and essentially brings nothing to the opponent's team our second honorable mention for top five assassins is raz now the reason that raz doesn't find himself in the top five is because i think that he's much more valuable as a mage more than he is an assassin when i think of some of the key components of an assassin's job, like split pushing, murdering the backline, prioritizing targets, and securing kills, many of those don't really fall into Raz's toolkit. And that's fine, because Raz is a very high quality hero, and he's a great mage, he just isn't really a super effective assassin type. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start with our top 5 list. Now, coming in at number 5 is a hero that if you're not looking out for him, can really bug you, and it's also our newest hero, Cricknack. Speaking of Cricknack, I don't know that we've ever seen a hero who looked more hangry than Cricknack. I feel like somebody needs to make him a taco or a burrito or maybe a quesadilla. Knock it off, Napoleon. Make yourself a dang quesadilla. Fine. Cricknack finds himself at the number 5 spot for a couple different reasons. On the plus side, Cricknack's above average mobility, even for assassins, gives him a major edge when it comes to split pushing and knocking down towers. Additionally, Cricknack's movement speed combined with his passive Bite, which gives him extra damage with normal attacks after casting an ability, give Cricknack a really good clear time in the jungle early game and help him get fed faster than some of the other assassins. Now some of the things that are keeping Cricknack from rising up on the ranks and staying at number 5 is for one, Cricknack isn't really able to provide the same level of burst damage as some of our other assassins, and for two, Cricknack has very little to no crowd control. And coming in at number 4 is none other than Nakroth. And some of the really good reasons that Nakroth comes in on this list is because he has great crowd control. Whether we're talking about his passive Dread Judge, his first ability Jerry Fury, or even his ultimate Judgment's Blade, the crowd control that Nakroth offers is well above average. In addition to really great crowd control, one of the other things that Nakroth offers us is some of the best mobility in the game. Between Nakroth's first and second ability, he gives us the ability to jump three times, and that's great even for an assassin. Now the reason why Nakroth doesn't find himself higher on this list, even though he gives you some great crowd control and mobility, is because I dread to tell you that he's been judged by a jury of his peers, and the death sentence on Nakroth is that he's too hard to play, and that's my final judgment. Seriously though, the main issue with Nakroth, and the thing that's really keeping him from rising on the ranks of the top 5 best assassins, is that I virtually never see a good Nakroth. I know that the ceiling is extremely high, and a very very good Nakroth is virtually unstoppable. The problem the problem is, is that the amount of players who play him that will ever reach heights anywhere near there is so low. Coming in at number 3 is none other than Zill. You guys might remember Zill. Zill made our number 1 best mage list on the top 5 best mages. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen that video yet. But Zill also ranks as a very high quality assassin. Zill's also known as one of the hardest workers in Arena of Valor, because when he's not killing people as a mage or killing them as an assassin and absolutely wrecking people's lives in the game, Zill's actually one of the only heroes in the game who has a side job that he does on the weekends. Now when we list off some of the main things that we look for from assassins, let's see how Zill holds up. Backline murder, check. Prioritizing targets, check. Securing kills and getting fed, check, check. Escapability, check. And of course, being great at ganking. 
check. Now, one of the other things that we look for from assassins is being a good split pusher. And seeing as Zill has magic damage, you would think Zill's not a very good split pusher. But that's where you'd be wrong. Because of the way that Zill generally gets built, which is with two items that actually add damage to all his auto attacks in the jungle item Loki's Cursed, along with Apocalypse, because these two items add magic damage to his normal attacks after using an ability, Zill can actually use an ability and hit the tower for a really solid amount, especially for somebody who does magic damage. The point is, is that running into a really well played Zill is a tornado of death that you don't want to get anywhere near. Now coming in at number two on our top five best assassins list is none other than Zephyrus. I'll throw out a little bit of a spoiler alert for all of you guys who are wondering why Zephyrus isn't number one on assassins. He's also going to be ranked very highly on our top five best warrior list. The bottom line is that when it comes to Zephyrus, I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. Now, when we're discussing the reason why Zephyrus makes it to the number two spot on this list, it's not hard to see why. When we talk about those jobs that an assassin has, split pushing, check, backline murder, check, check, priority targets, securing kills, check, check, getting fed, check, Great damage, check. Escapability and survivability, check, check. And great at ganking, check. Zephyrus literally marks off the entire list. One of the craziest things that happens in all of Arena Valor is winning a team fight with a Zephyrus who was almost dead the entire time. And he's just sitting there thinking to himself, I'm proud of you fellas. You all kept your head on a swivel and that's what you gotta do when you find yourself in a vicious cockfight. The combination of all the incredible things that Zephyrus brings to the game make him one of the most destructive and versatile heroes in the game. And at the end of the day... Don't act like you're not impressed. And coming in at our number one spot is none other than Wukong. Now, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you guys probably are aware that Wukong is my main. Blue, you're my boy! Now, a good argument could be made for Zephyrus or Zill being at the top of the assassin list. But I also have them very highly ranked on other lists because I feel like they do those jobs better. When it comes to being a true assassin, that's where Wukong separates himself. Here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Wukong boasts some of the best burst damage in the game because of his passive God of War. God of War gives a nice buff to all of Wukong's normal attacks following an ability where Wukong tumbles towards the enemy getting extra attack range and deals extra damage. Now part of where God of War gets underrated is that Wukong, because of his passive, starts off with an incredible 15% critical strike chance. Wukong also boasts some absolutely incredible mobility. Due to the tumble from his passive God of War as we discussed, his first ability Shadow Clone which makes him invisible and gives him 40% extra movement speed, and of course his second ability Great Sage that also gives him an additional tumble. One thing I definitely want to mention and not underrate about Wukong is his escape ability. Between Wukong's first ability Shadow Shadow Clone that gives him invisibility and extra movement speed and his second ability that gives him a tumble, Wukong's ability to get into a nearby bush, go invis and tumble into a different bush, making him unseen in his escape is actually super underrated. While Wukong also offers great ganking because of his ability to come and invis with his first ability, and he also has some of the best split pushing in the game because the enhanced damage from his passive God of War on his normal attacks also affects towers, the real part of Wukong's kit that makes him absolutely an incredible assassin is his ability to get into the back line, stun all of them with one of the best AoE crowd control abilities in the game in his ultimate monkey business that does damage and stuns all the targets near him for one second, and unleash some of that incredible burst damage that we were talking about before, Wukong has the ability to destroy the entire backline without them even realizing what's going on. And all they have to say after that is, Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. All right, guys, that is it for our top five best assassins in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. To recap, coming in at number five was Kricknack. Number four, Nakroth. Number three, Zill. Number two, Zephyrus, and number one, my bae, Wukong. All right, guys, make sure you guys check out the other top five videos on the playlist and, of course, our brand new How to Play Arena Valor series. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.